So one of the nice things about trying to identify trees in the urban environment is that once you identify one, you might have identified a whole bunch of them. They often plant the same kinds of trees all together in rows, which like I said, makes our job a little bit easier. So from a distance, I can see that these have a fairly upright, rounded kind of shape. I can see that the bark looks quite colorful and is coming off in patches, especially higher up. I don't know if you can see that if I zoom in a bit. The bark kind of comes off in these plates, so it looks quite nice and peeling. Uh, certain Earlier in the winter, you'd see more of the spiky balls hanging from the branches as well. Right now there's not very many of them left, but they can be a useful trait for identifying this tree as well. So, let's uh, come back out here again. So again, as a tree detectives, we always want to try and look for features on the ground that we can look at too. Oh, it's so bright I can't see anything. All right, so luckily for us, this particular tree has one of the most durable leaves. They last all the way through the winter, even into the spring. And uh, they come in a variety of sizes from quite large to quite small. And this is a close-up of that spiky ball hanging up high that I was talking about. So this one's disintegrating. Its spikes are turning into little, little fluffs. And this is one that uh, all of its fluffs have fallen away. And it's just the core remaining. So on first inspection, perhaps, you might think the leaf looks a lot like a maple leaf, which uh, in a sense, it does. It's um, the shape is called palmate, which means it's sort of shaped like your palm. Uh, however, one thing to note about maple trees is that the branching on a maple tree is always opposite. So opposite means that uh, every spot where there's a branch or a leaf, you'll get the leaves or branches coming off of the stem ac across from each other, versus alternating back and forth. And there aren't as many trees that are opposite. Uh, so maples are one of those. And this particular tree, if we have a closer look at some of the branches, we will see that it is in fact alternate. So it can't be a maple because the branching pattern is alternate. Oh, I'm so short. I wish I was taller. Ugh, so close. Anyways, um, I don't know if you can see that, like the the twigs and the branches are coming uh, back and forth. The buds are back and forth instead of across from each other. Again, you might want to make sure you're looking at more than one branch because if you think um, it's consistent, it's not. Sometimes you know, on a tree like a maple, you'll lose a branch and then it'll look like it's alternate, but it's actually still opposite. And you can see some of the, the seed balls still hanging up in the tree, like I mentioned before. And uh, we can get a better look at the bark here, too. You can see it's peeling off right there. Quite lovely. So uh, we're looking at a London plane tree. So um, in our region, we don't really seem to plant the sycamore maple, or is it sometimes called. Um, we seem to mostly just plant the London plane trees. So that's what we have here.